For Wednesday and Thursday, more great sunshine and warmth. Yes, it was a Mexican volcano, and the cloud is at about 80,000 feet. We may have some pictures later on in the week of it, but it will turn the moon kind of a golden color tonight, like it did a little bit last night. You can barely see the cloud. It's about 80,000 feet. Have to check that out. Thank you, Tom. Do the names Karen Sheldon, Jim Turner, Bucks Braun, Lady Love, and Gene Burns ring a bell? Whether it's rock and roll, country and western, or news and talk, those names belong to some of Central Florida's top radio personalities. And all this week, Newswatch reporter Sherry Hood will give us a glimpse of the faces behind the voices. Tonight, in part one of her series, Look Who's Talking, Sherry gives us a look at two of the early birds. It's 5.15 in the morning. Most of us are still in dreamland except for a few early birds. And for WDIZ's early birds, Mike Lyons and Karen Sheldon, it's time to get the show on the road. Good morning and welcome into the Rude Awakening at DIZ. It's 5.32. This is Mike Lyons. And I'm Karen Sheldon. Mike and Karen have been together for the Rude Awakening for about a year now. Early to bed and early to rise is just part of their secret. Uh, you take on a B12, get yourself a prepare the night before. And, uh, and it seems to be uh, something you can adjust to if you really put your mind to it, if you concentrate. You can start adjusting your daily schedule so you can get up at 4 o'clock and have yourself ready and know what's happening and sound up and have something uh, funny to say, bits, and put it together and do a four-hour radio show in the morning. Sometimes, of course, you have second thought. While Mike is queuing up the latest LP hits, Karen is giving the latest news. Mick Jagger has just bought a 300-acre ranch about 50 miles outside of Dallas. Mick woke up early in the morning complaining about the noise. Really funny. I told him it was the rooster. He couldn't believe it. He'd come all the way from New York to relax, and it was just as noisy as New York. Karen says she's an information disc jockey, which may explain her offbeat style of reporting. Do you want to get up and hear about murder while you're eating your Cocoa Krispies? I don't. You know, I want to be. I want to hear the news that really per pertains to what I'm doing, and I also want to hear uh, funny stuff. I want to be cheered up. WDIZ, Orlando's best rock and roll. Sherry Hood, Newswatch 6. With Sherry. <laughs> she didn't get into that too much. I knew the feeling. 16 years in radio, I do the morning <laughs> show, so I know what it's like. What's next? Sports. Sailing boat that I've nicknamed the SSWDIZ. And the reason we've nicknamed it the WDIZ is because I spent the morning with Baxter and Mark. You've got it. All right, 15 seconds. Are you there? Okay, right, hang on. Here we go. All right, stand by. Hi, Baxter and Mark. We're in the All Request Hour here at DIZ. Alan Baxter and Mark Zumanski. They are one of the top rated morning teams in the area. Baxter and Mark have been working together for more than 10 years now in radio stations coast to coast. They've been at DIZ for five years and laugh at other morning teams who claim Baxter and Mark steal their jokes. Well, we've been doing these things for five years here. And the people that are saying that haven't been here for more than one, two years most where they are currently employed. So how could we? You know, it's physically impossible. And I just, I just like to say, <laughs> In the studio during their show, both men have now switched to wireless headsets. We usually, when we stand up with the old style headphones, we yank them out of the, the socket. In the past, the team has been rather footloose. But as of lately, they've settled down in their private lives. But you can never tell that from their on-air conversations. Yeah, lady, how, how long is your inseam? Most of the phone calls are live on the air, unheard of at many other radio stations. But Baxter and Mark say they like it that so way. Much Aren't you worried about someone using a word uh, on the air that you really cannot have on? Once in a while it happens. Somebody sure. will slip something in. But it's our responsibility, if it would continue, yeah. to cut them off. We've gotten to the point, too, where we can pretty much spot a troublemaker early on. And if they sound like trouble, we won't put them on the air. Tonight, Newswatch 6 reporter Bob Sokoler continues his week-long series, The Men Who Drive You Crazy, with a look at WDIZ's Baxter and Mark.
WTIZ, the morning show with Baxter and Mark Jackson. That's Alan Baxter, and this is Mark Zemanski. Together, they're known as Baxter and Mark. The first time I tried to interview them, I was told to show up at a warehouse in Altamont Springs. They were rehearsing for an upcoming appearance of the DIZ band. Both Baxter and Mark are in their 30s. Mark is married, Baxter's not. Their morning show is ranked among the top five in the city. And they won't say how much they make each year, though Mark drives a new Porsche. They've been working together for the past eight years in cities like Denver, Chicago, Houston, and Tampa. We've been together long enough, I think, where we know our quirks and stuff like that, where we've become friends, you know, well enough where we can Wait, sit there just, and go. He's crazy, did you just say? Hey. I would never say anything like no, that to not, embarrass not. him. He's going through like the cracker box. The guys spend a lot of time working together on new material here in Mark's kitchen. They let us watch as they put together a new skit for the morning show. Not that, oh. of, uh, maybe Miss Helen or something. But we've got to have Opie explain how he gets these pictures, see? Right. When we first came here, there were no two-man FM morning shows. Nobody was doing like a lot of phone bits and etc. And since so then, you think they're copying you. The well, since then, now there are a lot of two-man morning shows. They're all doing phone bits, and uh, a lot of the bits they've even—I mean, a lot of the bits started on our show. The high heels, you like the high heels, and wear that yes. lovely taffeta. Cocktail. The guys get a lot of calls during their show. Sometimes yeah. visitors, okay. female visitors. They show up in uh, really strange outfits at the weirdest hours, six o'clock in the morning, with uh, you know an idea in their head, or they want concert tickets. Yeah and they're willing to do darn near anything for it, of course, we immediately throw them out. Luckily, Mark's wife of five years, Karen, understands. No thoughts of divorce or leaving him because no. of uh, the amount of women that are knocking on his door? And... No, no, you just can't let it be a threat. And news here on the morning the show. The guys are now going international. The beer song they wrote during the Canadian beer strike was just bought by Labatch Beer. That could mean big bucks for Baxter and Mark. Tomorrow, WDBO's Jim Turner. I'm Bob Sokoler on the Newswatch. Good morning. Sometime this hour, you could have.